YouTube. Um, right now I just have, you know, some thoughts on my mind because, I don't know, sometimes I just get these spontaneous kind of urges to make videos because something's happened or whatever. And today it has something to do with, uh, really, to do with, um, you know, spreading positive energy and always being kind to people and more specifically, uh, bus related issues because way too often I see people who are just rude in general to people like bus drivers, um, like oh, bartenders or like people in the service industry like that and I just think it is it is so rude and most people don't even have reasons for it they're just mad at random bus drivers even though they're these nice bus drivers um, uh, first of all I'm just gonna tell you my story from today um, so basically I just got home from school and the time is <coughs> It is 16.51, which is like 10 to 5 in the afternoon. And the reason why I'm home... Oh, oh yeah, I know I have a date thing there. I just happened at school. Um, and the reason why I'm home this late is because bus-related issues. And what I noticed is that a lot of people kind of got mad at the bus dri driver, even though it was... He obviously didn't do it by purpose, uh, making us arrived late. It wasn't something that I don't think it, anyone really intentionally drives students home late. Anyways, just to start from the beginning. Basically, how I pendle... My lips look weird. Uh, how I pendle from... Uh, I keep going off topic like that. Anyway, how I pendle from school is I go take one bus from the same company from my school to this bus station and then we take a bus, a different bus, from that bus station and home. And this is the same bus company, they have com should have communication and what happened today is that I think that it's a new bus driver from, he's obviously not from Norway, I'm not going to mention what nationality or whatever I think he is, but he's a new bus dr driver and he's an immigrant. So I think that actually the immigrant part has something to do with why people are so rude and mad at him, uh, which just makes me furious. Um, Anyways, and he was late to get us at my school, which is my first bus um, drive from the school to the bus station. And he obviously didn't really know that we were going to catch another bus at a specific time, which he was late for. So all the other buses that take students from the bus station and to wherever they're going had gone when we were there. So basically we didn't reach that bus and had to wait um, 50 50 minutes for the next one or 40 or something and um, he obviously didn't know that he that we were going to uh, make that bus and he didn't or maybe he did but for some reason didn't contact the didn't know how to contact the other bus drivers just tell them to wait for us at the bus station because this has happened before with other bus drivers and they have called and told them to wait for us because he's late from my school um, but obviously there was some failing communication here, and and be, the bus driver that we were that was driving us told us that we had to go get off the bus, and we we're like, but the other buses aren't here. How are we gonna get home? And I don't remember what he said then, but he just said bye or something. And people, I think someone even showed the finger to him, um, and I could see that he was kind of confused. He didn't really. He was confused, so obviously he didn't do it by purpose, so I don't, like, I was also kind of irritated because I have a tight schedule, I like to get home as early as I can, but, you know, it's, it's happened, so, and he probably didn't do it intentionally, so it's not like he's intentionally evil. So I was like, okay, whatever, this is what's happened. I called mom, asked her if she could pick me up, she couldn't, so I ended up having to take a bus 40 minutes later, which isn't that long. Although it kind of is for me, <laughs> but um, the point is that I just, I didn't talk to him rudely or show him the finger or yell at him or whatever. People, oh, people weren't yelling at him, but people were rude and just not nice to him after that. And the thing is that he actually drove us at four o'clock, the other bus that we were taking, he drove us from the bus station and to wherever we were going as well. And I was, I was just, I don't know, I just kept calm. I was like, okay, this is a situation. You have to learn to just, you know, accept the situation for what it is when you're in situations like this. I was like, okay, this is, this happened. He made a mistake. He's human. He made a mistake. 
uh, he didn't do it intentionally, so I was just, you know, I was, when I walked onto the bus again, I was like, oh, hello, and I put my bus card on, you know, I was just kind of happy, and when I went, I said, uh, but, like, goodbye, have a nice weekend, kind of as if nothing had happened, as if he didn't make a mistake, because I think just the fact that he made a mistake made him feel bad, and it doesn't help that people are rude to him and stuff after that. Uh, and he's also in a foreign, foreign country, so I think we should, you know, respect he's learnt our language, he's driving the bus, be happy that we have bus drivers, you know? Uh, and I, I, I just always practice be kind, always, or try to be kind as much as you can. That's the moral of the story is, although, like, although our bus is late, they probably didn't do it intentionally, just always remember that. Um, but of course, if a bus driver is really, really rude to you for no reason at all, if there is a legit reason, then maybe you can be a bit rude back. But often, people just get mad at like bus drivers and other people in the service industry for no reason, and it's irritating. And I'm just saying that try to just reflect a bit, like like me in this situation. I thought, well, it was a mistake. So I come 40 minutes later home, it's just one time and you know, he probably learned his lesson, uh, just don't make his day even worse by being rude to him, just, you know, show that you care for people, you know, empathy and, you know, compassion, we're all on this earth together and we're all, you know, living life and we should all really be kind to each other and be understanding and that's really what I did today and I do feel good about it and now I I can go home with a good feeling, you know? Um, instead of coming home frustrated because the bus was 40 minutes, I came, I came home 40 minutes late, you know? So what? That happened. Uh, that's just how it is. I couldn't change it. I couldn't magically make a bus appear. So I just kind of grasp, grasped the, <laughs> the situation and tried to Still, even though I sort of, you know, I don't prefer coming 40 minutes late home, but I made it into sort of an adventure, or maybe not really an adventure, but I made it into something that I could reflect upon and something that I could make a video about and so on and so forth. So basically, the moral of the story is when you're in a tough situation, not not tough, but like a stress, stressful, stupid kind of situation, such as I have been in today, um... Just try to reflect, just take a second or two, or more than a second, to reflect and think, why am I getting irritating, ir irritated about this? It's not really a big deal. Uh, and that goes back to the book that I am sort of reading, that Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. Just think, this is just a small thing, like, it's not a big deal, really. Um, so yeah, just when you're in situations like that, and... The moral of the story, be nice, uh, be, try to always practice being kind unless someone is a complete douchebag, if it's over the bo over the top douchebagness, of course, I I freak, I freak out on people like that, um, but that's only if it's necessary, and um, be nice to people in the in, uh, service industry, such as bus drivers, uh, bartenders, or... Um, people like at restaurants and you know because we we need them too and they are people too and a lot of people are just rude to those kind of people for no real apparent reason so uh, yeah I, I just want to share that story with you guys and I hope you have a nice weekend uh, further since this is Friday and I just got home I'm just gonna post this video without even editing or anything because it's just a story I want to share with you guys so have a nice weekend and goodbye.